Okay, this is one of the reasons why I always say that you really need schematic diagram in case you repair mobile phones or you repair any ele electronic circuit. You understand? So you see this circuit right here. This is a, a mic circuit that you can see the main mic of uh, Itel A56. So using this circuit right here, you will be able to jump a mic on that particular Itel phone. So let me just explain everything about this diagram right here so that you will see so you see these two points right here these are the points in which the microphone is being connected and you see these other points right here so this other point right here is where the, the microphone is coming from which is coming from the power ic according to this pcb you understand so if there is any open circuit in the mic section right here for example if you want to to solder the mic and the the, the 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 solder point peels off then you can use this diagram right here to troubleshoot you understand so the first thing that you are going to check right here is, like i said these are the pins in which the mic have been connected you can see mic positive and negative so you are going to follow the line then you can jump at it from this first components right here you understand so all you are going to do you are just going to to copy this number and paste it on the uh, on the pcb layout you understand but i'm going to show you what i'm talking about right here this is just a short video and if you need schematic diagram make sure you send me a message to purchase your own schematic diagram or you want to learn complete mobile repairing course make sure that you send me a message and and you will be able to register to my online mobile repairing course you understand so judging from right here you can see that we have our two microphone points right here and if you look the diagram you will see that it's quite simple so these two resistors right here are the last components that the microphone passes through to get into the ic that controls the mic and this is the ic this is the input the input uh, uh, connection of the mic from the ic and the ic is the power ic on this particular device you understand so if you have a problem right here like an open circuit you can jump uh, from these two capacitors right here and all you have to do using this schematic diagram you just search the number you are just going to search the number right here then go to the pcb layout paste it and you will find the position in which these two capacitors are in so in case you want to jump out from this last resistors right here you can easily do same so all you have to do all you have to do is to copy the number of the resistor right here then you are going to come to the pcb layout and you are going to paste it as you can see right here it will show you the exact position in which you can solder and do the jumper of the microphone so you can see right here we have our power manager ic you understand so you can see it's quite simple so this pcb right here has two circuits so this is the downboard little downboard circuit right here and this is the main circuit you understand so the mic is connected in the down pcb as you can see right here the down pcb has just a small circuit which are just uh, capacitors that are connected in the in a parallel as you can see right here this one capacitor right here then if i come right here in case you don't want to jump uh, you don't want to go straight to jump uh, to the last i see right there to the last component which are the two resistors that i showed you this particular one and this one right here so these are the resistors that controls the two pins of the mic you understand so if you don't want to go this far and you want to jump uh, from the pin from the uh, a connector flex from the flex connector from the down board to the upper board you can use this right here so using this you will know the number in which the pins of the microphones are in you understand so looking right here you will see that it's number 21 and 22 so all you have to do is to put the pcb right in front of in front of you then you are going to use this to know it you understand